Thanks to a little piece of plastic, I've been able to combine the most potent new forces in the video realm. And here's what they are. Greetings and salutations, I am Skojo in 360 and two of the coolest inventions in video in the last decade have easily been drones and 360. You thought I was gonna say porn. How dare you? First of all, I gotta apologize. I am in the process of moving, so my studio is in complete disarray. My lighting is horrible, but at least I got Yoda by my side. Now, back in the day, when you wanted to shoot an aerial shot, you just rented a helicopter and used about 90% of your budget on one shot. The other 10% went to a decent camera and craft services. But over the years, drones have become potent video tools because while aerial shots have become far more common, there's still nothing that screams big budget video more than a well-executed drone shot. Now I've come through the ranks with a Phantom 3 standard to start and it put out some pretty cool stuff. Then came the Mavic Air, which was and is kind of my dream drone, easy to pack, shoots brilliant 4K, and when you're out in the woods, as much as I am, easy to pack is not a luxury. But along comes 360 video and blows my mind. I mean, back in the day, if you wanted to see a 360 video, you just stuck your head out of the car window. 360 is in my book, the biggest jump toward fully immersive video experiences in our generation. I mean, imagine if a movie like Star Wars was shot in 360 and you could put on a pair of goggles and be standing right next to Darth Vader. I'd rather be standing next to the princess, but I digress. For the past few months, I've been trying to find a way to bring the two worlds together. It was only recently I actually had what I would consider a strong success. So let me throw a couple of pointers at you if you want to fly your drone with your 360 camera. Let's get started. Tip number one, can your drone take it? Now I have a Mavic Air, which is very small and very light, not the best combination for adding weight to. And the first time I tried to take it up with one of those top mounted adapters, it nearly ended in disaster. If you have a drone smaller than the Mavic Air, it's likely you're not going to carry the weight and crash, which does not make you look good with the ladies. Trust me. Tip number two, use a bottom mount. Now I've had good success with one of these guys and it snaps right onto your drone and that way the camera weight is now being pulled rather than pushed, which significantly increases the stability of the drone and extends the battery life while decreasing the stress on the motors. Tip number three, fly smoothly or die. Remember, your drone doesn't have brakes, so when you make a fast move with the drone, it will swing that weight backwards at first, and then when you try to stop quickly, it swings the weight forward, putting more strain on the motors, draining the battery faster, and upping your chances of crashing, which again, doesn't make you look good to the ladies. Trust me. Okay, now arguably those three were all tips, but I promised you a trick, so here's a bonus. But as far as I know, this only applies to people who have the same camera that I do, the Insta360 ONE X. If you have a different camera with something similar, be sure and leave it in the comments below, but check this out. Bonus trick. Use viewfinder mode in the app to edit your footage. I recently started working with this feature and now I can't stop using it. It allows you to edit your footage in real time by simply moving your phone or iPad around. No lengthy keyframing. Thank you, Jesus. All right, well, that's all the tips and tricks I have for now. Since this is the 360 community, if you have any tips or tricks to add, please, 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 please leave them in the comments section below. Let us learn from your wisdom and more importantly, avoid the mistakes you made. Just being honest. Be sure and tune into my next episode because by the time you see this, I will have made a trip to Portland with my 360 camera where I'm going to join up with Jared from Adventures with a Purpose on YouTube to go below the depths in 360 and maybe pull up a Jaguar. No, seriously. The best way to stay tuned is to subscribe. It makes me happy, it fills my soul, and if you push the little bell on the side, Lord, it gives me the shudders. I'm Skojo in 360. Time to boogie out.